global semiconductor chip shortage led General Motors Company on Wednesday to extend production cuts at three North American plants and add a fourth to the list of factories hit, and Stellantis to warn the pain could linger far into the year. GM Chief Financial Officer Paul Jacobson subsequently said chip supplies should return to normal rates by the second half of the year and he was confident the profit hit would not worsen. The chip shortage, which has hit automakers globally, stems from a confluence of factors as car makers, which shut plants for two months during the COVID-19 pandemic last year, compete against the sprawling consumer electronics industry for chip supplies. GM did not disclose the impact on volumes or say which supplier or parts were affected by the chip shortage, but the US automaker said it intends to recover as much of the lost output as possible. Industry officials and politicians have pushed U.S. President Joe Biden's administration to take a more active role in dealing with the chip shortage. Complicating matters was a severe winter storm in Texas last month that killed at least 21 people and led to the shutdown of several chip plants. Semiconductor industry officials said customers would face knock-on effects in several months.